Hi, in front of me I've got the two most popular SSDs from Amazon. So here we have the Samsung Evo 860 256GB variant. This is the packaging in which the drive comes in. And here we have the Kingston SSD now UV400. And this is the packaging of the Kingston drive. Today in this video we're gonna see which one of these drives is faster because the Samsung drive commands about a $12 premium over the Kingston drive. Both of these drives are very similar so performance wise I don't really expect much difference but we want to see if paying that extra premium for the Samsung drive is actually worth it or not. And one thing you should keep in mind is that Kingston offers you 3 years warranty and Samsung offers you 5 years warranty so you have that plus point on the uh, Samsung drive and the Samsung drive also uses a newer flash memory VNAND or 3D VNAND which is the latest technology in flash memory this is where memory cells are stacked vertically on top of each other giving the V for vertical in VNAND because of the change in vertical arrangement of the cells, these SSDs have better capacity, half the power requirements, faster speed and better endurance and less cost per gigabyte for higher capacity SSDs. The Kingston drive on the other hand uses a triple level flash arrangement or the TLC flash. And just so you guys know the Kingston drive is actually my boot drive right now. So this is the uh, drive that I use on a daily basis. and. Uh, this is also fairly new. I purchased this in 2018 itself. So what I'll do here is run Crystal Disk Benchmark on the uh, Kingston Drive first and we'll see how the scores are like. Then I'll clone the Kingston Drive onto the Samsung Drive and then we will see uh, how the scores are like in Crystal Disk Mark on the Samsung Drive. Also we'll do a boot speed comparison and see which uh, which one of these drives starts up the computer faster. And the computer that I'll be using for all this testing is my uh, desktop this one has a i7-3770 and 16 gigabytes of RAM and I'll be plugging these hard drives in the SATA 3 port so that we get maximum transfer speeds alright so let's begin alright so let's do a boot speed test with the Kingston drive and I'm gonna wait until the splash screen disappears on the uh, computer because I've set the timeout to 5 seconds so we'll start the stopwatch as soon as the computer starts booting up. Alright, here we go. Alright, it took about 8 to 9 seconds for the computer to get to the desktop. Uh, let's count that as 9. And you can see the computer is very responsive, absolutely no sluggishness. Yeah, this is the kind of experience that every PC should have. Absolutely no wait time even after starting up. Brilliant. Let's do the same test with the Samsung drive. So with the Kingston drive, it took the computer 9 seconds to reach the desktop. Now let's try the same with the Samsung 860 EVO. So let's power up and wait for the uh, computer to start booting up. Wait for the splash screen to disappear. Come on. Alright, here we go. Alright, so 6 seconds. Alright, let's count that as 7 seconds. So the Samsung SSD is indeed a little bit faster than the uh, Kingston. And you can see everything else works. Just look at how fast this thing is. Oops, product activation failed. And I think I will need to re-enter. I think I'll need to call up Microsoft because on the this SSD, this thing was activated. And on when I copied it to that SSD, um, looks like Office is not activated anymore. So it did sense the hardware change, although with Windows is activated, no problems. So there we have it, 7 seconds for the Samsung versus 9 seconds for the Kingston SSD. Now let's move on to Crystal Disk Mark benchmarks. Alright guys, so here we are with the results. On our right we have the Samsung and on to our left we have the Kingston. Now the Kingston drive is unplugged so I had to take a screenshot and save it uh, before I cloned the drive. And here we have the Samsung result and you can see 
the Samsung Drive does perform slightly better than the Kingston Drive especially when it comes to random read for KIB and random write especially when especially this random read part uh, you can see it I'm not gonna pretend that I know everything about crystal disk mark but uh, I'm gonna pull these up like this and pause the video now if you would like to read this and even the uh, IOPS are better on the uh, Samsung Drive versus the Kingston. So that brings me to the end of this video and to answer the ultimate question, is it worth it spending the extra $11 on the Samsung Drive versus the Kingston? I think yes because of the warranty and the performance both. You saw that the uh, Samsung Drive boots up the computer around 2 seconds faster than the Kingston. So and you guys also saw in the benchmark that the Samsung Drive is overall uh, slightly faster than Kingston so I think it is totally worth it going for the Samsung Drive but then again it depends on your budget and secondly it depends on what type of system you're using these drives in if you have an older system say for example an older uh, an older core i5 or i3 even a later generation i3 then I think you should go for the lower performing Kingston Drive and if you really want the bang for the buck then you should go for the Kingston A series drives these ones right over here these are very economical these ones cost less than the UV 400 model and I think these are totally worth it if you're building a PC mainly for office use like uh, web browsing listening to music and browsing the web but if you have a more powerful PC and more high-end configuration then you should go for the Samsung 860 Evo and if you have a really really high-end system you should go for the Kingston HyperX Fury or you should go for the Samsung 860 Evo Pro and it is also worth mentioning that Samsung offers you 5 years warranty versus 3 years for the Kingston Drive so that's an added bonus on the Samsung Drive so that brings me to the end of this video guys thank you for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like this if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I will be more than happy to answer them alright so I'll see you guys next time